Cheryl Burke seemingly throwing shade at ex Matthew Lawrence. I mean, people evolve and um, people sometimes, unfortunately, grow and grow apart. The Dancing with the Stars pro shares a cryptic message on TikTok, six months after filing for divorce from the Boy Meets World star. Cheryl writes, quote, when he said he would never talk to her again, yet I found text messages, Viagra, and a necklace hidden in a pair of his shoes. Whoa. Matt and I have been through so much. Yeah, Cheryl's eye roll says it all. And the caption goes there. Quote, the last time is absolutely right. Goodbye forever. She adds hashtags, quote, exes suck, and quote, hope it was worth it. I didn't have any sense of self or awareness. This comes weeks after Cheryl revealed how the split impacts her sobriety journey. I think people tend to think that my life is perfect and you know through this divorce that I've uh, I'm still going through there's a lot of ups and downs but I have to put myself first I have to put my sobriety first Cheryl and Matt's romance began in 2007 before breaking it off the following year my married friends are just like they're testing it out you know they're like how does it feel because I don't think a lot of my friends thought I was ever gonna get married fast forward nearly a decade later they reunited how does it feel to be back together and just be happy? It's great. It's really great because we are happy. What yeah. was it that made you guys know, you know, we want to do this again? For me, it was like a text message last December saying, hey, want to have dinner, Merry Christmas, and then that was it. The two marry in 2019, but less than three years later, Cheryl filed for divorce on Valentine's Day. According to an insider at the time, their split was, quote, a long time coming. And in legal documents obtained by ET, she cited irreconcilable differences. I think it's important that, you know, I move on. As Cheryl said back in May, there's no regrets about how the marriage ended. I don't wish I've, I, I did anything differently. I think, you know, we did try. We were in couples therapy. Um, and at the end of the day, I think that communication is key. Mm -hmm. And it's also important to be able to be heard. As for her love life post-divorce, Cheryl's not opposed to walking down the aisle again. Are there things you miss about being married? Would you see yourself getting married again? Totally, yeah. yes, I would, and I do. I mean, I miss that, just the compatibility, the just being with another person, another human being. You know, it's now just me and my Frenchie, which I can't complain about, thank God for her. There's moments, for sure, of sadness and um, reflection and just wanting to be able to share your life with somebody, and I'm not, definitely not um, saying I'll never get married again, for sure.